Hidden within the densely wooded mountain region of Mala Capella is Croatia's most famous natural landmark, the Plitvica Jezera Nature Park. A land of cascading lakes. This is a well-protected natural environment which developed in travertin synclines, a world of water and exceptional plant life. Caves such as the Suplajara cave, situated within a ravine at Lower Lake, were created many thousands of years ago. Erosion and corrosion in the cast caused cracks in the limestone layer and gradually carved out this wide limestone ravine. The result of this lengthy process created a huge entrance to the elevated cave that extends to the water pool below. Throughout each year, millions of holidaymakers visit this natural attraction, which is very accessible due to a well-organized transport system. Thus, a special bus line travels to Upper Lake, from where the discovery of the lakes can begin. From the winding road, there's a fine view of the lakes below. We travel forever upwards until we arrive at the terminal where the buses are able to reverse. The lakes and trails are marked out on a large panel. Our circular tour can commence. This is a wonderland of water, forests and flowers, in which, despite its many tourists, wildlife continues to thrive. Over the past 4,000 years, a spectacular natural wonder formed along the course of the Plitvica and Matika rivers on the Croatia-Bosnia-Herzegovina border. Water is all around. Deep blue or turquoise green, it rushes down to Lower Lake, namely to the cascading waters of Plitvica. There's a network of landscape steps along the walls of the ravine that also cross the lakes. For seven kilometers, 16 lakes are formed within a gorge similar to the links of a chain, connected by various cascades and waterfalls. It's a strange area, full of mystique, and for centuries, long forgotten. A no-man's land of wonderful nature. Nestled in the Daenerik Mountains in southeast Europe is Lika, land of the wolf. Even today, the elders of Lika speak of a legend. Long ago, this region was haunted 
by a devastating drought. The harvest dried up, the cattle died, and the people begged in vain for rain, until a black woman appeared in the sky above. Seeing the weeping peasants, she took pity on them, and, in a flash, it started to rain for several days. Everything flourished, the meadows became fertile, and soon there were numerous lakes and waterfalls. However, nature tells a different story. It was a geological wonder that actually occurred here, a natural harmony of both water and rock. This phenomenon took almost 4,000 years to evolve, in normal geological timescales, a mere moment. More than two-thirds of the national park is covered by forest. In 1883, a forest management program was set in motion. It was considered that the forests surrounding the lakes and their water inlets should be conserved. Dead trees are not allowed to be removed and remain in the forest. Everything here is indeed well protected and it is prohibited to stray from the footbridges and paths. As already mentioned, the lakes of Pitvika form a chain that reaches for more than seven kilometers, connected by waterfalls and rapids. Wherever you look, there's water, and the ubiquitous forests invade each corner of this labyrinth of water. More than 1,100 species of flora have been discovered in this park. Many of them are rare and protected worldwide. The crystal clear water of the lakes is a sought after habitat for various species of fish, with fishing strictly prohibited. There are the upper and lower lakes. They differ not only in their location, but particularly in their geological features. The upper lakes are located on a dolomite base, which forms the typical features of stream dolines and wooded subsidence. Whereas in contrast, the lower lakes are situated within a rocky limestone canyon.
From level to level of all 16 lakes, the water searches for various possible inlets. Water, water, everywhere. The subsurface of the Dineric Mountains consists mainly of water permeable limestone. At first, rainwater disappears into the mountain and travels through its many subterranean labyrinths. In this way, over thousands of years, Gorges and cave systems have gradually evolved. The water dissolves lime from the rock and forms incredible stalactites in the caves. These huge caves extend into the limestone for hundreds of meters and sometimes collapse, the water gradually finding its way back into the daylight. When the water exits the mountain, it becomes enriched with dissolved calcium. Flowing into the Plitvica lakes, it passes through mosses that act as a filter. Here, various tree species and rare flowers flourish in great abundance. The air is full of the fragrance of the lush vegetation. The sediment in the lakes creates their deep green color, especially in the upper lakes. At the Plitvica lakes, the canyons are not barren eruptions on the Earth's surface. Here, the river valleys are green, wooded biotopes. Long ago, when drought and aridity prevailed, this paradise was, according to legend, created by the Black Queen. The people begged for water and their pleas were duly heard. The Black Queen sent them water from the sky, every day and every night. Supplied by the Black River, the basins filled and created the lakes. The water continues to flow from Plitvica through the valleys. The upper lakes occupy three quarters of this region, in which the primeval forest landscape has created a lively symbiosis with large masses of water. The area was not always so peaceful and was also called the Devil's Garden.
This name probably dates from the time of the Turkish occupation at the end of the 17th century. Later, the lake area formed part of the Kranau-Walna military border area, in which the Austrian Empire was defended against Ottoman hostilities. But the realm of the Black Queen remained unaffected by these events. Only the laws of nature apply here. The magic of the landscape is totally captivating. It's unique in the world. In the midst of this enchanted forest, the boundaries between the elements seem to merge and, at the same time, mystify. Here, the forest transforms to water and creates an explosion of cascades, waterfalls and torrents. What actually created this gigantic wonderland? And its massive waterfalls, lakes and pools, and the barriers that hold back the water. Four thousand years ago, tiny organisms began their work here. Professor Ivo Pevelek explored the lakes of Plitvica. He discovered that both moss and algae were responsible for the unique geomorphology of this lakeland region. He proved that this phenomenon was due to the emergence of limestone formations. This led to the inauguration of the National Park on April 8, 1949. Mosses, algae and bacteria were covered by water minerals that gradually formed layers of travertin. This process requires a perfect combination of both water and air temperature. And it is this that has created the chemical magic of the cascading lakes. frog is a bit of a show-off. A 
Aquatic wildlife is perfectly at home here, among the thundering cascades and impressive waterfalls, in the nooks and crannies of this natural world. From everywhere, water rushes into the nearest low-lying lake with a loud roar. And here too, frogs are to be found within the confines of the lake. The pristine forest enables numerous interactions and natural relationships, but something differentiates this forest from all others. It contains a remarkable wonder of nature, the cascading lakes of Pitvika. The greenery of bushes, trees and herbs combines with the colour of the water. As a result of numerous natural deposits in the lakes, tree branches form a myriad of shapes within the crystal clear water. Here, nature has created a natural retreat, a living and unspoiled world. The landscape here is constantly changing, creating new pools and barriers, waterfalls and cascades. The park's many bridges and pathways make it easy for visitors to enjoy the scenery from many angles. In several locations, the flow of the water is like an optical illusion, created by forests water and the beautiful reflection of the sky. It is particularly on the edges of the canyons that trees, caves and plant growth produce a mystical and enchanting scene. At a length of 7 kilometers, 16 elevated karst lakes are linked by more than 90 waterfalls. Where today numerous footpaths travel around the lakes, water may encroach at any time 
and a new path must be created. What is at one moment calm can become a raging torrent of water when a barrier collapses and a new outflow is created. Many rare and endemic species of flora, forest and meadow plants have become a symbol of the park. Along the pathways, the power of water can be observed. A natural power that created the canyon. Complete slopes are covered by tumbling waters. Even the forests must submit to this elementary power. The water is unstoppable. The next water basin is a lake crossed by various footpaths. This continues repeatedly, with one barrier after another overcome by the waters of Plitvica. Even dead trees are not spared the chemistry of the water. Dense lime deposits cover the vegetation with surreal forms. The Plitvica lakes feature conditions that promote the growth of lime barriers, clean water, favourable temperatures and high solar radiation. Visitors to the park are guided by a stream of pathways and steps, across a small basin or down to the next large expanse of water. Always accompanied by loudly cascading, clear mountain water. Both rain and southern temperatures create unrestrained growth and produce a wonderful display of biodiversity. Suddenly, the largest of the Plitvica lakes appears through the shoreline trees. Yeziro Kozjak. <laughs> Kozjak Lake is more than 2.3 kilometers long 
and stretches in a north-south direction framed by dense forests which extend to the shores of the lake. Here, there are no footpaths, only tranquil boat trips that take travelers to the lower lakes. The lake traffic is well organized and waiting times are short. The large and expansive Lower Lakes area is extremely popular. There's a commemorative plaque in honor of the aforementioned Ivo Pavelic and his academy. One thousand one hundred and forty six species of flora have been identified within the park, some indigenous to Croatia, and several rare and protected species from around the world. The water flows in all directions and, on the dry travertine rock, are various mosses and other plant life. And here, the trees interact perfectly with their surroundings and remain undisturbed. The park is a veritable paradise of the natural world and a tribute to those who have kept it intact. Beyond the barrier of Kozjak, from where the wider section of the upper lakes ends, the canyon of the lower lakes comes into view, a dramatic sight. When venturing from below into the ravine, there's an outward flow of water that contains many fish. The route narrows. Soon, the gentle flow of water becomes powerful once again, with stronger currents and splendid waterfalls. Further basins have formed below, into which the masses of water expand into the canyon. The fish are well at home here and enjoy the freshly enriched oxygen in the water from the mountains. There's a large variety of fish here, and again, fishing is also not allowed. The geological foundation of the park's 16 lakes 
is an extensive carbonate region in which the Middle Ages of Earth's development created this remarkable landscape. Limestone and dolomite form the Grand Relief. Due to the movement of the Earth's crust, rock formations arose and were partly pushed one into the other. In this process, cracks and crevices were formed, accompanied by weathering and further mineral deposits. Thus, this karst landscape formed over a period of thousands of years. There's a plaque in honor of Milke Trinin, a world-famous opera diva who donated the proceeds of her final concert in Zagreb to the Association for the Protection of the Plitvica Lakes. For millions of years, the landscape continued to develop in dramatic style, with numerous amazing features that are now visible today. The sheer force of water gradually created this landscape of canals, caves and grottos. Water attacked the carbon deposits, both chemically and mechanically, and also produced new lime. Next, we arrive at the lower lakes, where the ducks give a curious glance at the many visitors who come here, making their way along the narrow pathway. And there are also connoisseurs of natural beauty who stroll slowly between the tourists and enjoy the exceptional splendor of this region. On the edge of the lakes are cascades of travertine that help the rushing water travel down to the next basin. The fish are a wonderful sight and extremely healthy due to the optimum condition of the water and the variety of natural nourishment on offer. The formation of the Plitvica Lakes began around 10,000 years ago. At the beginning of the 19th century, they became the subject of scientific research. It took a further century until, between the First and Second World Wars, it was decided that any outside interference in this sensitive region could have devastating consequences. The constantly transforming lakeside landscape truly captivates the senses and stimulates the imagination.
narrow pathways situated along rocky walls and across shaky wooden bridges, passing tiny magicians who attempt to fish with sun rays. Everything seems to be possible within this enchanting ravine at Sostavsky, where the water forms several waterfalls that drop into a seething cauldron of sparkling water. High above the ravine, a somewhat precarious pathway leads around a rock wall with various plants and a bird's nest. Suddenly, it appears beyond the last bend, the magnificent Veliki Slap waterfall. Here, the Plitvika River descends from a height of 76 meters to 78 meters over a 50 meter wide semicircular rock. Depending on the quantity of available water, the white foam of the waterfall covers much of the rock wall. There's a swirling mist created by millions of water droplets as onlookers enjoy the soothing drizzle. This natural paradise within the heart of Croatia has lost nothing of its original and dramatic beauty. A watery countryside oasis amid dry cast. High above the canyon, the Plitvika flows as a small brook through the blossoming landscape until its waters suddenly disappear. The scenery here is a delight, glorious and imposing, with the land, rock and water attracting the eye at every turn. constantly changing landscape, the Plitvika lakes are a true miracle of nature. <laughs>